Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we will be creating a pair of wall mirrors that are inspired by the Finn mirror that is offered by Z Gallery. My version of this mirror uses all Dollar Tree items and both can be made for less than $7. Please see the description box below for all the items and tools I use for this project. I am so happy that I can share how I made this project with you, but before we start, I wanted to say welcome back to my current subscribers and a big thank you to all the new subscribers who have just joined my channel. If you're a new visitor to my channel today and love DIY projects as much as I do, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when a new tutorial is ready to share. So now, let's jump right into the tutorial. For each mirror, you will need two boxes of these tumbling tower blocks and one 11 by 14 wall mirror. The first thing you want to do is to remove all the packaging from your tumbling tower blocks. Separate your blocks by color if your set contains both dark and light blocks. Here I am showing you how the blocks will be assembled together. It's a good idea to use a right angle ruler to make sure your pieces will be aligned properly. I purchased this ruler from the Dollar Tree as well. When you get ready to align your blocks, it's helpful to use other blocks to help with the alignment as well. We want to use a combination of E6000 and hot glue to adhere the blocks together. For any glue that oozes out of the connection, you can remove with a skewer or a pencil. And here are all of the eight side pieces assembled. You will use 10 blocks for four sets and 12 blocks for the other four sets. Now we can assemble the entire frame. We're gonna start with the outside of the frame using the longer pieces, laying them out as I show here. Next, we can start adding the shorter sections to the inner part of the frame. After the pieces are adjusted to fit, we can adhere them with E6000 and hot glue where the pieces connect. We want to make sure we allow them to dry completely. And here's the frame completely dry and secured together. Before proceeding, we wanna go ahead and lightly sand the blocks down to remove any imperfections or glue buildup from the assembly. Now we're ready to prime. I'm going to be using this Krylon all-purpose bonding primer and I will apply two light coats, letting them dry for 30 minutes in between.
Once the primer is dry, we can apply the color. I will be using this brilliant silver spray paint by Krylon and lightly apply two coats, letting it dry 30 minutes in between each coat. While the frame dries, we can go ahead and work on the mirror. Start by removing the packaging around the frame from the mirror. Next, we're going to go ahead and make a simple hang wire for the back of the mirror. We're going to use some wire that I picked up from the hardware section of the Dollar Tree some time ago. Cut a piece roughly about mm, 12 inches long and we want to make sure we fold it in half twice to make a double strand. Then we want to go ahead and twist the strands together. To go ahead and take our needle nose pliers and coil each of the ends up on a few inches. Now we're just going to flatten and adjust the hang wire so we can apply it to the mirror. Now grab that E6000 and we're going to apply a generous amount to each one of the side coils. We want to go ahead and clean up any excess with a skewer or a pencil. And we just now, we're just going to take this and push it to the side to dry. Now that our frame is dry, we can go ahead and apply the mirror. Flip the frame over and we want to place the mirror on top of the frame facing down. Take a pencil and mark the top and the bottom edges for proper alignment so when we glue it down, we know exactly where to place it. Now grab that E6000 and apply it to the blocks that protrude inward toward the mirror. Finally, take your mirror and carefully apply it to the frame, making sure that you align it with the lines that you just marked. And press that mirror very gently in place and allow it to completely dry. And then when it's dry, you can hang the creation. This project was inspired by Z Gallery's Fin Mirror that retails on their site for $299. I love the similarity of this project. Don't get me wrong, I love Z Gallery and their glam designs, but we can create this Dollar Tree dupe for only $3 per mirror. That's definitely a DIY on a budget. And this can even be done in rose gold or gold or any color you desire. If you're craving color, go for it and make it your own. Listen, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how you would customize this wall mirror for your space. Thank you again for visiting and checking out my tutorial. If you like videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. See you next time.